Sophie, I can't believe you made it. Quickly, let's take an awesome, cute picture for the grand. No, I don't. All right. <laughs> Good, great, awesome. Let's go. Oh, go. How dare you? My cultural references are timeless and ever enduring, like Splash Mountain. <laughs> like, I'm going to show you the lightsaber of Avengers Campus. This is Captain America's shield. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's our first time. Welcome. You're always welcome here at campus. Do you have any opinions of Deadpool? But I like him as long as he just watches his language. Yeah. Yeah. He's someone who wants to see you. Oh really? He, he wants to be in the vlog. Okay. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> By the power of the Vashanti, we create the spectral shield! <laughs> we are waiting for Deadpool right now. Him and Wolverine are going to be coming out a little bit. Story time with Deadpool. We are right in front too, so we're going to get a good shot for you guys. That's a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Who brought their child to the Deadpool Dad. show? <laughs> Dad, Dad. I like the music. complete and utter surprise to find you all here. I recognize some of you from the earlier show, actually. Are you guys here for story time? Yeah. Give me some of your favorite stories. Go ahead, name some. One, two. Three lanterns. Oh, we don't talk about that one, sir. <laughs> don't talk about any lanterns of any sort. Um, yeah, those are all okay suggestions, but we're not going to do any of those because this is my show, and we're going to do what I want to do. Today, I've got a tale full of action, romance, and guaranteed to be in strong awards consideration at the end of the calendar year, it's Beauty Pool. Oh. And the World Barbies. Mm. Yeah, super scary, I know. <laughs> well, let me just find my place here. It just feels wrong when I'm doing it with myself. We should all say it together. One, two, three. Once upon, upon a time. time. Wasn't that so fun and interactive? Well, upon that time, once, I was walking along, captivated by one of my favorite books, the autobiography of Ryan Rodney Reynolds, <laughs> when all of a sudden I heard the galloping of my father's horse, Philippe. But now Philippe was coming back alone. I know. My father no longer in the saddle. Is he in some kind of trouble? I asked him this like he was some sort of television dog that could understand English and respond in kind, but this is a story grounded in realism, and he's a real horse, so he winnied. I'm not fully brushed up on my Winnie, so I just left onto his back and guided him to take me to Baba. Quickly! We galloped deep, deep within the forest, though we were so deep in that forest. <laughs> it grew very dark, very scary, very dangerous. Kind of like going to a Waffle House at 3 a.m. in Van Nuys. <laughs> I dismounted Philippe and sent him on his way. It was the hairy, the hideous, did I mention Harry? Wolverbee! <laughs> wow, Wolvie, I can't believe you made it. Quickly, let's take an awesome, cute picture for the grand. No, I don't. All right. <laughs> Good, great, awesome. Let's go. Wait, Wolvie, please, please don't leave. You have to let me finish the story. You were just <laughs> getting to the good part. If you don't want to do it for me, if you don't want to do it, for the grand. <laughs> At the very least, do it for the children. Come on, kids. Give over your saddest, pouting faces until he agrees. Yeah, that's right. The baby's really good. All right, I see the parents. Okay, I'm doing it. Yes, good job, children. <sighs> so, okay. Awesome. Okay. Too far. Okay. So, uh, Belle. What's actually beauty pool? That's me. I'm not saying beauty pool. Come on, kid. Show them the despair face again. <laughs> oh. I see the child. Okay. Beauty pool. Does a little B&E and meets a bunch of weirdos who are furniture and dishes. Well, I am cutlery. Don't forget about the napkins. There's a whole dance number. Anyway, then the real hero shows up. The Beast. A uh, Wolver Beast. Up to Wolverine to save the day. Uh, I slice up some bad guys oh. while Beauty Queen over here stands in the corner making a bunch of stupid jokes without... My cultural references are timeless and ever-enduring, like Bugs Land. <laughs> what happened to Bugs Land? Ant-Man, what did you do? Oh, this thing is just really headed south. Not even a few bars of tale as old as time. I said no musical theater. 
I clearly touched a nerve, children. Oh, uh, the moral of that story is... Uh, don't open your door to strangers. Okay, well, we're just gonna head out then, but uh, we'll be, I'll let you do the honors and say the magic oh, words. All good Disney stories end. And no one's saying a post credit scene, all right, that's so overdone, that's only in the FCU, the Feige Cinematic Universe. I'm out of here. Oh, okay, too much fourth wall for you, we'll be all right. He's much more of a third wall kind of guy. <laughs> okay, well, I should probably get going too, but for the record, just to be clear, everyone did live happily ever after. The end. <laughs> Are they writing me off right now? Okay, you're playing me off. Well, they're getting me prepared for the award season I was talking about earlier. Farewell, everybody. Hi, Uncle Deadpool. She liked, she liked it. Yeah, she was, uh, she's motivation for them, too. She was too. into it. <laughs> it was fun having Alice dead front, <laughs> so uh, Wolverine and Deadpool could see her. She helped the show. Well, that was fun. Uh, I watched it twice. It was really funny. It's worth it if you can wait. It's like a half an hour wait between the two shows that we just saw, but uh, if you don't get a good seat at first, because there's a ton of people, as you saw, try again. Try again. Just wait and walk up to the front. Wave up like you just don't care. Shake it up. Shake it down. Nice. Oh. oh! You guys didn't dance. Something happened. Hey, Rocky Raccoon, buddy. Sorry, we are running a little bit late. Oh. It's calls for a dance off. Let's go. Some dance off in the galaxy. Out. I have a question, Black Widow, if you might. I know you were the original redhead of the Avengers, but what do you think about Deadpool now? Kind of getting in your space. I don't see much of him. You don't see much of him? I mean, listen, I'm still the original redhead. I'll always be the original redhead. I will say, the boys told me I needed to stop dyeing my hair for a while. Okay. Because it looked like I was going through a crisis. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm staying a redhead. Well, at least you have the redhead. I don't think he has anything underneath there, so. We don't know. Do we, we don't know. know. We don't know. Do you know? I've seen it. It's oh, well. Maybe I'm not supposed to know. <laughs> Is he a redhead under there? I don't think he has anything under there. He's, oh. a, little, he's a little toasty. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I didn't tell you. I wasn't the one who told you. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Black Widow. Confidential Widow's. information. Confidential information. I am a little bit sometimes. Where is the Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, maybe she's part of the uh, flight crew. She's like, Are you looking? Are you a pilot? I don't know. I was a little nervous. Ashley sent me on a mission and I wasn't ready for it. He's like, oh, Black Widow just showed up. Go talk to her. So I was like, I don't, I don't know what to ask her. What do I say? What do I say? What do I say? <laughs> no, I was like, okay. So we all know that you're the original redhead of the Avengers. But now that Deadpool showed up, what do you think? So I was trying to just like oh. equate it to like he's all oh, red yeah? and everything That's like a that. Good question. She was actually kind of playing along like she doesn't know what he looks like or whatever. Yeah, nobody I, knows that he's a mascot. That's true. Well, I said something to the extent of like, I don't think he has any hair though. I'll have to go back to the tape. Probably. Black Widow. Blah, 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 blah. You're good at talking to the guys, but every time we have to talk to the female characters, you, you get it's nervous. Just, the actual Avengers, when we went to the premiere, and I was like right there with all of them. Oh my god. That's an embarrassing story. We got to go to the actual Avengers Endgame premiere because I did the theatrical poster for it, and we got invited to go to it. And then we're literally in the room after the screening with all the Avengers. And I had no clue what to say. They were all standing at the front of yeah. the screen, and they were open to anybody coming to talk to them. We were literally like standing like this close. I'm like, I don't want to say. You, you just you panicked. <laughs> I was like, great movie. Like I don't, I don't know yeah, what to do. Yeah. And then again, we've said this before, but we tried to say hi to Chris Evans at the after party, but we totally got sidestepped by his security. Both of us, even Ashley, looking just out of this world. I was like, I got this. Nope. Yeah, nope, nope. <laughs> they just said no. I was like, ah, they're like, where are you going? I'm like, oh, no, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> I, was, I would be Thor just like, 
<laughs> I would probably end up dropping that hammer a few times. It bounces. <laughs> yeah. It bounces. <laughs> <laughs> it shatters and it's just a piggy bank. I don't know, there's like coins in there or something. I'm just thinking like, what would happen if you actually dropped the hammer? What's it would bounce? I'm imagining Why it's a- Why would it be a piggy bank? My brain just said it'd be funny if it was a piggy bank. It like just shattered and more okay, logical. Okay, then mine is a gumball machine. Oh, man, gumballs everywhere. <laughs> oh, well, then it's like somebody Thanos snapped it. There you go. That makes more sense. Ah, uh, gumballs. Ah, uh, gumballs. <laughs> what did we tell you about storing gumballs in your hammer? You can't put gumballs in your mule there. <laughs> That's what my doctor said. <laughs> Are you going to go see hi? Oh, yeah. Look at this shield. It has a star on it. Hi. Hi, Look, he's got a star. Yeah, this is a vibranium is about me. Good luck. Yeah. What's your name? Alice. Hi, Alex. A for Alex. Yeah. That's a good point. Hi, Captain America. It's a good day here at Avengers Campus. Oh, yeah, it's our first time. Welcome. You're always welcome here at campus. Look, I have one right here, too. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Alice's mom and dad? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like the outfit, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I do have a serious question, though. What's that? I know you're a man of rules, keeping order, and now we have someone who doesn't keep order on campus. We have Deadpool. Yeah. Right. Do you have any opinions of Deadpool? Has he been causing trouble or...? Um, not so much trouble, but a little chaos, I guess you could say. Yeah. But I like him, as long as he just watches his language. Yeah. I think he's a fan of you too, so <laughs> that's good to know. Yay! Yes. Boy, that was fun. Good job, Ali. Met Captain America? Yeah. And then think about that, the A for uh A for Alice. A for Alice. A for Alice. A for Alice. You met Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I had to hold her back. Once I showed his uh, shield, she was like, oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. He looked into my soul. Into your soul? <laughs> what did he see? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I can't, I can't say. <laughs> I don't want to tell you. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, look. I'm a fan of Cap, obviously. It's okay. It's okay. Whatever you want to say to Cap, you can say to me. What did you want to say to Cap? <laughs> What's in your soul, Ashley? <laughs> Now that we've seen Deadpool and Wolverine and Black Widow and Captain Rogers. Uh, Captain Rogers. Captain Rogers, I mean Captain, Captain America. Uh, we're gonna head into the Avengers Vault. It is the shop here on the campus. Um, it just opened recently. We haven't really been in to look around. So. I haven't been in yet. Yeah. You've been in. I have been in. I was you doing snuck in. Well, I was for the camera, I was pretending I didn't go in yet. Oh, <laughs> but it's cool. It's a really cool story. I want to show you guys. Your initial reaction? Ooh. Ooh. I want that. Can we get that? Iron Man is definitely one of my favorite things. Yeah? Iron Man's one of the top. Is it because of Robert or the character? It's obviously kind of just common Robert. Yeah, I think so too. I, I feel the same way. RDJ. RDJ. Well, Who's gonna come back to the Marvel Universe? Yeah, we were gonna say, speaking of that, that was just, we were just at Comic Con or I was just there. And was like, were you there when they announced it? Because yeah. I was at home with Alice. Yeah. And I was like on, on my phone, I'm like, what are the updates that I'm missing out? And then that was one that was announced right when you were coming back. I was yeah, like, I had no clue. Did you know? I had no clue. No, and then. Doctor Doom. Uh, that's gonna be crazy. I don't know what to think about that. Obviously, the Avengers. Everybody wants the Avengers movies to come back. Yes. Everybody wants Robert to come back. He's like yes. the best part about the Avengers and the Marvel is, universe. He is. He is Marvel, and I think they've always known that and know it, especially now. At first, I was like, why? Why would they do this? And then I, I'm kind of warming up to it. I mean, whatever they have to do to work him into the story again, I'm cool with. Oh. That gets, me, that gets me excited because that just makes me feel like Captain Rogers could come back too. Captain America could come back. Could it be? Is Captain Rogers coming back? Um, that would be really fun. Even if it's in the musical or whatever. Again. Something. Something. He's just dancing it. with his lady at home, getting bored probably. Uh, yeah, I know. It was, it was so sad and so perfect at the end. And it was... Again, like we were saying earlier, it was so perfect seeing Endgame because we saw it at the premiere. 
and it was electrifying beyond words. Like seeing well, that everybody movie like there that. That was the Avengers. Was there. We were sitting right in front of Chris Pratt. Yeah, we were sitting in Vin Diesel's row. Yeah, and like everybody was in that theater, and like when. I mean, you guys have seen reactions online when, like, he's like, assemble, or, like, he picks up the hammer. It was, like, a million times more magnetic in that theater because like we were sitting there with the people. The people. Yeah. That were in the movie. And I was, like, every moment of that movie made me happier and happier because I, I had worked on the poster. I did the poster for the film, like, the final the Avengers. Yeah. Hoorah! I got to do the, the poster, and it's, like... I know. I remember I made you stand up. They're, like, everybody who's, who's participated in, yeah. in this film... And I was like, you have to stand up. I have to stand up. I made the poster. It was, it was so cool. It was such an awesome poster. and Well, it was, it was such an awesome experience to do that. But Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to come back. Um, the reveal was crazy on stage, how he came out in that Dr. Doom mask and just ripped it off. So this is Iron Man. Really near philanthropist playboy. He's very cool. He's one of Mommy's favorites. You're saying hi to Iron Man? Alice is in awe. Of the Iron Man right now. It's almost like in memoriam. It feels like. I know. He's just standing there. Look at what they have. Proof Tony Stark has a heart. It made me like tear up a little bit. Well, yeah, that was such an awesome gift that Pepper gave him. I know. This is the actual arc reactor that you can get. His original arc. They have a lot of cool props like this in this store from when I was in here, and just a lot of the collectibles are in here now too. I mean, you can get like a full-on Iron Man helmet. They kind of have like bounding shirts almost now, like they're kind of reflective. It looks a little energetic. Some toys. You can get his repulsor glove, gauntlets, which are really fun. They probably light up. Or, no, actually, they have little missiles for kids. Iron Man coffee mug. Iron Man Avenger. The armored Avenger Iron Man. Yeah. There's someone who wants to see you. Oh, he, really? He, he wants to be in the vlog. Okay, who is it? <laughs> <laughs> Cape! Nice to see you again! <laughs> uh, he's one of the best characters in, in the MCU. He doesn't get enough credit on his own. It's a nice place, actually. It's really nice. It's not bad. This store has a lot of things. It, it kind of... This <laughs> Sorry, I had some Pim's Kitchen drinks. This is sort of like the Doc Ondars of the Marvel campus, it feels like. So they actually have actual like props and costumes and things you can buy. Like this cape, this is like a legit Doctor Strange cape. <laughs> it's a hundred bucks. It's a hundred bucks? That's yeah. not too bad. Yeah. It's not even Velcro, like the, oh, nice. it has a button. Oh, cool. At least it doesn't drag on the ground for me, because I know sometimes these things, it's hard to, like a size that works for all, all heights. Yeah. You have to say it, Ashley. <laughs> Quick! <laughs> we must create the spectral shield! <laughs> By the power. By the power of... of... Vashanti. We create, the... we create the spectral shield. By the power of the Vashanti. No, okay, you do it then. <laughs> no, you do it. I can't, no, 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 no. By the power of the Vashanti, you create the I know shield. what to say. I just don't... Okay, by the power of the Vashanti, we create the spectral shield. <laughs> since since that show is over. Yeah, you can fill it. I can do it. No, let's buy this cave. Yeah. We're going to go over there. Okay. And I'm going to put the show on. Okay. With, I always thought your hands were magical. With my magic, magical assistant. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> close up magic. Close I think up you've magic. got the job. Close up, close up magic. Close up magic. <laughs> corksicle? The corksicle ones? Yeah. They I are. love that corksicle has different themed cups and. That's fun. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. I really wish we could go. The Marvel. MCU at like the bowl? At the Hollywood Bowl, yes. Yeah. That would be so fun. And then it you could bring be. this, bring your wine in it. Oh, yeah. For your picnic. Totally. <gasps> you could probably, because it's the, the, the gauntlet, you could put water in there and just snap, and then it turns into wine. Kind of Jesus-like and everything, but, you know. Yeah, let's not get religious. <laughs> Thanos is God. <laughs> <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty religious already. <laughs> These are cool. Wow. It's Are like they... his big one he comes out with in the show. Oh, it is the big one he comes out oh, with. Oh, it has a thing. Oh, so whoever holds his hammer, they be worthy. She'll possess the power of Thor. That's fun. Yeah. And then Loki has like a chalice too. I don't think I'd... You could ice cream out of it, cereal, all those things. She's That's... into the lights. She's into the lights, yeah. 
Well, they do have uh, cool lights and patterns in the ceiling. This would throw Indiana Jones off, for sure, if he was picking. Oh, I know. Oh, don't do that. Uh, oh, it's like it's like a whoosh, or like a throne. Our, our only weakness, yeah. coffee mugs. But even this design, though, like it's like the shield was getting thrown. Yeah, it's like the swoosh line. Did I make it easier or harder to drink from? I can't tell. It's just cool. It's just like a cool idea versus just a straight up shield. 20 bucks. 20 bucks? I like that one better. This one's cool. I do wonder, though, is this break proof? Is this one that would bounce if you say another? Another. Huh? Oh, definitely came not. Came right back. I mean, it's solid, <laughs> but it would definitely chip. Yeah. It's oh. solid, but with chip, probably. Yeah, that's fun. Imagine you bring this to Ren Fair. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. I know that you're getting the ears now. What do you think of uh, These the Loki ears? These are an improvement on the other Loki ears I saw. I like that the horns kind of tilt back a little bit. They're not just like, yeah. they're kind of shaped better for like wearing on your head. These are actually pretty cute. I like the velvet bow, too. Yeah. I'm not getting them. You're not getting them, though. Yeah. <laughs> so they have... Loki figurines, some of the toys. We've got a, also a Scarlet Witch backpack. I'm excited for that. And there's a Mjolnir there in the corner. What's going on? It's heavy. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, what? What? How would you do that, Alice? She's not really holding it. She's like, I don't want this thing. You want it? Can you lift it? Are you worthy? We don't know. It was a whole bit I was going <laughs> to do. She was one whole bit. You've got this. Come on, Alice. You've got it. Believe in yourself. All right, Mama, hold it. Mama's worthy. This is a hammer of your people. Mommy is Nordic. Here you go. No? Okay. She rejects she's the power. Your kid. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! So she's not worthy because of that. They have Captain America ears. But they also have a Captain America shield. That, that's even cooler. Don't you have a shield at home? Not like this one. This one's you cool. Have the Civil War one, right? I do. I have the blue and white stealth shield. It's his stealth shield from uh, Winter Soldier in the beginning of the film. So Flaker, I'm going to show you the lightsaber of uh, Avengers Campus. This is Captain America's shield. This is an awesome prop. It's $450. I kind of want it, but it's crazy. And it's cool. Because you can hear. It makes sound effects when you actually move the shield around. So it has this little sound speaker on the back. But the shield itself is metal. It's really well made. It's the right scale and everything, too. It's cool. I kind of really want to get it at some point because I, I love Captain America. He's my favorite Avenger. I'm going to have to talk to Ashley about this one. At some point, I would love to get this shield. I'm so happy they have it. I was so excited when I came in here and saw that they had this. It's pretty legit. Uh, the straps are actual real leather. They're maybe the one thing I would switch out or something because they're a little uh, soft. Uh, maybe put some nicer straps in there, but like it's really, really well made. It's a really great shield prop. Uh, and then if you can carry it around in Avengers Campus, that's even cooler. But I don't know if Cap would be uh, okay with that. So it's like if you wanted to catch the shield. Cool. I think I might have to pick this up sometime. Or if one of you guys want to get it for me, that's fine. <laughs> the edging is really nice too, it kind of rounds. It's heavy, it feels like it's a, it's a couple pounds, it's legit metal. Thank you very much. Oh, of course. Thank you so much. If you guys want a Captain America shield, just pick that one up. It's more fun. It's again like the lightsabers. It makes sound effects. It's legit metal. It's a really cool prop. It is four hundred fifty dollars. A lightsaber is like two hundred something dollars. Or if you do like savvies, it can be like two two fifty or something like that. Uh, but it's a big prop. It's cool. I if you're an Avengers fan. There you go, Captain America's shield right there. I think today we're just gonna be buying Alice her own shield, one of these foam shields, so I can play with her at home. Uh, I mean, she's not really aware of the Avengers yet, but I think she'll start to become a fan. She has some pretty cool cap merch. I love these. I'm I'm such a fan okay. of. Okay. Okay. If you love them so much. What? <laughs> what? If you love them so much. Oh, Brian. These are probably the only ears I would ever wear. When Captain America wears his mighty ears, all those who chose to oppose those ears must yield. yield. I'm trying to think of a better word. These are <laughs> these are his 
his cap shield from when uh, he's the um, Star Spangled Man, Captain America. Oh, there you go. Wait, wait. Let's get a picture. Let's, let's we're gonna picture, switch. Yeah. We switch <laughs> roles. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? <laughs> I do like these ears though. I'm, I'm happy they put out this version. This is one of the cap hats they have here. I love my cap hat. I already have a really nice one that I got years ago. They have t-shirts. Pretty cool. Uh, he looks a little like... <laughs> That's how I look at the gym. Look at the gym. <laughs> Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. That's cute. That is cute. Oh, look at the back too. It's... Aww. Lift that up. It's got the shield. You're gonna wear one of those one day. <laughs> I still smell like vomit. Really? Yeah. You wanna talk about that on camera? That Alice no? threw up on me when we raided for Little Mermaid because she was so excited. Yeah. Yeah, I smell like vomit. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay. I know you were excited. I'm sorry. Thank you for waiting with her. It's okay. The seawater will clear, clean it up. <laughs> I guess so. It's okay. Life of a, as a parent. Yeah. Right. You can buy also kids costumes here. Something I actually love. So if I didn't already have a ton of bags from Heroes and Villains, I love this fanny pack. I'm such a Captain America fan, especially like First Avenger Captain America. And this is totally something I would buy. And that, the, you know, the strap also has Captain America on it. It's only like $20 or something like that. 30. $30. Actually corrected me. $30, $30, but. Oh, it's on the left hand. Do you want this? Oh, just like he had. Yeah. She likes the shield. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mama. She's taken on to the daddy. He's rejected the Sith and your Not Norse the... gods. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> the light side, Captain America. She's daddy's girl. <laughs> Is he a star? We're learning about shapes. Stars oh. and circles. Circles? It's got both of them. The star. She you likes want, it. You want that? How much is it? Oh, it's not too bad at all. That's really nice. Let's get it. I showed you. She was carrying around the hey, lid oh, of yeah. her like blocks and it like was like a shield she was walking around That's with. So funny. <laughs> now you got a real shield. Speaking of Cap More 2, another kind of bounding shirt. The hood on it. Oh, and it's got the A on it too, Mama. That's cool. It's fine. Why does Thor have any clothes? Uh, I don't know, because he doesn't seem to wear them in the movie, ever. <laughs> Where can I get a nice bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a Wakanda here. Oh, yeah, wow, cool. Those are actually kind of metal. Those are sick. Next? And the uh, Loki ears, and the Captain America Spangle ears. Just realized he's a Star Spangled Man. Spangled. Didn't like, Tony call him like Spangled Man or something like that in the movies? He had some names. He had some funny names for him. Like that. How many times? I'm looking at these gloves. There's an yeah. the Iron Man glove. I wonder how many times they have to put the middle finger down. Oh, because people mess with them? Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to see if they're even posable like that. You have to buy the stones separate? You have to acquire your own stones. Maybe you have to find them around the park or something. Oh. <laughs> It's hard to get them to go, all go up. Ugh. It's hard to control that power. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like no? this. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. It's kind of like busted. Before I continue, I need you to join us, Flight Crew. Subscribe below for more fun. Why these different colors? Well, these are the, uh, oh, maybe this is like the different stones. Well, these are different things that all contain the different infinity stones. This is Ronan's cosmic staff. The Tesseract has the blue stone, obviously, the purple stone. So each of those four. is 50 bucks. Yeah, and then you could put them in the glove. That's interesting. That's Except a for weird... this. Um, well, Ronan's rod didn't have a stone. I don't, well, did it? It, maybe it came with a stone. So you can, I think, get all the different stones. Yeah, so right here you have the green stone, the time stone from the Sorcerer Supreme. So you can get this. You can get uh, the blue or the white stone from uh, the Tesseract. Loki Scepter has a stone. Purple one from the orb in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, that literally like seems like that comes out. And then the ether, I forget where that was from the collector. That was from the other Guardians, I think. 
It's also a Wakanda Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, and you can get also the Iron Man Gauntlet. So that's, that's kind of an interesting, weird way. Like, the stones are almost like the kyber crystals of this shop, yeah. in a sense. Yeah. And you gotta buy everything to get the different stones uh, to put it in the main gauntlet. That's a lot of money, but I mean, hey, if you want the power, you gotta, you gotta pay for it. <laughs> Yours. Okay. Oh, it's yours too, yeah. Mama, this is mine. My vibranium. So when the campus opened, Ashley and I actually got the web shooters. Well, I got them. <laughs> the web shooters. The Spider-Man, I got Peter Parker's web shooters. I'll have Miles Morales' web shooters, and they're supposed to actually work a lot better. Somebody told me last time I was in here. Uh, they kind of recoil, I think. They go choo -choo as you shoot them. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool that they did like an upgrade to them. Kind of a fun art project. You can actually draw on the wall for Miles Morales to do your own kind of graffiti artwork. That's a cool little piece. You guys find some more stuff? Alice is into Wakanda. That cool? Yeah, I think you'll like the Black Panther. She would. Yeah. There's definitely a good focus on having a lot of toys in the shop too for kids. And it, oh, cool. So you can actually get an Infinity Stone briefcase. I don't know if all the stones are in it though. That's fun. So it's literally a little briefcase that holds all your stones for you. Very cool. So here's Shuri's gauntlet from Black Panther. It looks like it actually lights up. And you can see here's the actual collectible prop. It's also an Infinity Gauntlet backpack. That's pretty cool. It's got all the stones. You don't have to buy it like the other gauntlet. You know, and again, just like on uh, Galaxy's Edge, you can get patches that are just ready to go. You can just stick them on your outfit. Which I did that the first time I came to Avengers Campus. I got the uh, Avengers Campus. I got the Avengers Campus patch, which is outside. Uh, it says Avengers Campus, and it has the Avengers logo. And there's also the flight crew for the Quinjet, which is supposed to be what this building is. It's going to be a ride eventually. I think they just put it on pause because of everything going on with Disney. They need to kind of save money right now. But at some point, I think they're going to actually build that ride. It'd be cool. And we can't deny that the biggest star of the campus has got to be Spider-Man because he's got his own ride here too. And he has the whole first wall when you first come in. I really like this Spider-Man shirt because it's like a lot of these, they have like these bounding shirts kind of in the store which kind of feel a little costumey but they're still shirts that they sell. Um, but I really like that about what they're doing with the shop. They're kind of again making it a little bit more like the Galaxy's Edge approach of props. Something that's kind of like a bound that you can wear and also just toys, just fun things for kids. I'm happy though because I, I was kind of worried about that for a bit. I didn't feel like there was like cool enough merchandise in Avengers Campus. Uh, kids web shoes would look just like the nice Peter Parker ones. Those are actually well made. It looks like they shoot these little plastic rubber webs. Some ears, you can get a hat for uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man does have a sort of sling bag too. The web. Uh, there's sort of a zipper pouch on the other side. It says amazing on it for Spider-Man. The spider is actually like a rubber uh, stuck on material. It's cool. It's a cool shirt. Well, that was fun checking out the uh, Avengers vault shop. Got Alice her shield. Um, I'll definitely be going back there at some point to, to keep looking at that shield. And maybe one day I'll pick it up. What happened? Oh, we were just hanging out here to find somewhere quiet to be, and then Loki walked by. Yeah, we're over in uh, the magic show area. Are you, are you inspecting your stage to see what you I know, I really thought about it. It's <laughs> like, man, I need to go get the game. <laughs> Ashley's magic shows. What would, what would be your hours? Uh, the show. My hours? I don't know. I'm just like, I am already want to start promoting get, it for you. You guys get 15 minutes out of the day. The 15 minutes. I'm very busy. Yeah, My true. assistant isn't very well trained yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's really good at getting her shoes off. Though. Yeah, that's a good metric. Doesn't. Shoes have disappeared. She's just been fascinated watching him. Yeah. Well, he's got those giant horns. He's, he's an interesting been, looking character. He's just been watching. Oh, they don't even do Spider-Man anymore. Um, I think they do the show, but they do it not as often. I, I mean, a lot of stuff on campus, like the Doctor Strange show, yeah. the stunt show, yeah. and maybe Spider-Man. They just, they just don't do. 
they don't do those. They, they still do Spider-Man, but they definitely don't do Doctor Strange. They don't do the stunt show anymore. They had to do a lot of cuts recently for budget, and yeah. I really feel like that's partially why like Robert Downey Jr. got announced, and the new Avengers films got announced. They're like, we gotta get people back into Marvel again. Yeah. That, is that where all their money went? I think to pay for Robert Downey Jr.'s salary. Imagine <laughs> what that salary price is. Yeah. Well, there was just this weird lull. Like everybody felt like it's cool getting all these different types of Marvel shows. Uh, we liked a lot of them, but just, even the recent ones we haven't gotten into. Yeah, some of them we haven't gotten into, but some of them we have liked. And I just the general consensus that seems online is like people just miss that build up to the end game film to like that big moment that was going to happen. And once it happened, I'm everybody's like, I don't, I don't the, care. Um, Agatha. Yeah. I am excited. I love WandaVision. That's like my favorite Marvel show. Really? Of all of them. Yeah. yeah. Well, I love the period aspect of it. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. Just that moment, I think that when she sees like interacting with herself, uh, where she's like that mom version of her, and then she's Scarlet Witch, yeah. and she's just like, it's okay. Like, yeah. It's okay to let go of all this. It's just like, oh. Hits my heart. Yeah, Strange. I think it was in the movie. We fell asleep honestly with so many of the Marvel shows and movies that came out recently. Like we just had mommy and daddy brains and we're like passing out every time we would watch something. It's we have to too catch much. up. <laughs> it's too much. Big glowy cube. <laughs> she literally bypassed the hole. <laughs> she did not step in it. She's smart. <laughs> wow, she's very powerful. She just got right through it. <laughs> I found a super baby. <laughs> He's ready to join the Avengers. <laughs> Careful, Mama, there's a vortex. Back to normal. That was close. That was close. Yeah. That was close. Who did that? <laughs> did you do that? Did you use your magic? You broke it? This is like that end of the night craziness where she, her body's like trying to get all of her energy out before she goes to sleep. Yeah. And man, it's gotten it's gotten intense the last few weeks. Yeah, she's gotten more and more energetic. Especially this time. Like she gets like the crazies. This is for web sleep. We just popped into web suppliers to see if they've updated or changed anything, but it kind of looks like a lot of the same things I've seen before when we've been in here. They, they do. They have Gwen, they have um, Miles Morales now too. They have a lot of characters. Oh, this is... <laughs> Ken. What does this remind you of? Oh, yeah. It's like the mini lightsaber we yeah. built for Alice. It's the same concept. No. <laughs> Another thing, yes. <laughs> Imagine she just shoots webs at you all day long. She does a lot of things to me all day long. <laughs> Being a stay-at-home mom is not the luxury I thought it was going to be. No, it's a lot of work. It's, you do a great job. It's a lot. It's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And she's your daughter, so she requires a lot of attention. Yep. If yep. you are not looking at her or talking to her, engaging with her for two seconds, she loses her mind. Yeah, she does. It's a pen. But you can put it on your desk. Isn't that cute? It's a pen. That's pretty cool. Right? Just have them hanging, chilling on your desk. Stacy ears. You have dressed as Gwen Stacy before. I did. I don't know if the flight crew knows about that. A long time ago. Yeah. And I tried to climb the wall at San Diego Comic Con. You did. Yeah. How far did you get? Not very far. Not very far. Well, in my mind, when I was doing it, I was pretty close. And then I looked at the footage. I wasn't, I wasn't Not very, very close. close. <laughs> Apparently, lots of uh, Spider Men have tried to climb that wall at San Diego Comic Con in the past. Well, you think you can do it. Yeah, you always think like I did something cool, well, but it's not. It's, the suit told me that I could do it. Yeah. We all think we can do parkour. We can't do parkour. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. But with the these suits here and these kids' toys, you feel like you can kind of do it a little bit. 
Ghost Spider. She was in the uh, animated movie. Wasn't the second she? one. Yeah. Another one I gotta watch again. Like I feel like I fell asleep at the end because we were just so tired as parents. Was that like when she was first born? I feel like. It might have been. There's just so many movies that have come out when she was young last year. I don't remember Everything's exactly. A blur. It's Everything's such a blur. blur. We we sleep like four or five hours a night sometimes, and it's just it's really tricky. And then I'm, I'll stay up and we're editing and doing stuff too, and it's just like, oh my you gosh. See these bags? Yeah. Those are those are expensive bags. If you <laughs> if you're like, what happened to the young swashbuggling Han Solo, bro? <laughs> Baby, but we love her so oh, much. She's oh, she's tired, tired too. You got your blankie. Oh, it's getting to be yeah. end of the night. It's as little as three months. How cute is that, though? Yeah, that would you wanna be want to be a Spider-Man? Yeah, thirty-seven. It's thirty-seven dollars. Yeah. Wow, that is a pricey spider suit. I guess if you're doing like a Halloween costume, it'd be cute. Yeah. I love a little hat. And the emblem's kind of a little 3D on there. It's not just it's flat. It's a good quality one. Yeah. She'd have to wear shoes. Just your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Great power comes great responsibility. And great Fighting bubbles. Here, ready for action. And bubbles. Head bubbles. You have no idea who Spider-Man is. She's no clue. Cool. She's so we unimpressed. We have not introduced her to <laughs> Avengers at all. No. It'll be exciting when or she gets Marvel. to understand. Yeah, no. none of it. Great Remember that. That quote hit me hard in high school when I saw that movie. <laughs> <laughs> then I could have the cape and this. You could get the cape. And there's my show. There's your show. <laughs> and then once this lights up, you can start spinning. In person, guys, the frame rate's better. Hold on a second. <laughs> it looks a lot better. Thank you for demonstrating. The frame rate is not correct on the camera, but in person, it just looks like the glowing effect as you're seeing it. So it's $25. That's not bad. That's and cool. you can use it as a fan. Yeah, okay, so I need the cape. I'm going to get two of those. And then I'm just going to go hang out over there. Yeah, you can do this. You've got the job. <laughs> You've got the job. Somebody needs to do it. And we'll get the mug. I'll, I'll just, can I come in and store with the mug? Yeah. Okay. It's a little small compared to his, but that's yeah. all right, Brian. Oh, that's... Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> he came out with the biggest Stein ever. Yeah. That was so funny. <laughs> Any other updates for Avengers Campus? So, <laughs> so like Ashley just said, that's pretty much the big updates that we can find at Avengers Campus. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to be doing even more now that we saw these uh, announcements from Comic-Con again with Doctor Doom, Robert Downey coming back. I'm sure it's gonna pump up the Marvel Universe again. People are, I feel like as a fan, and a lot of the fans I would talk to, like in Flight Crew as well, like Marvel was so big and then it just kind of teetered a little bit. And yeah. people want that excitement again. Oh and my gosh, remember that, that build up to all, every movie that would come out. I'm so sad that like uh, Alice will not experience exactly what that was like for us as fans to have years of building up to those final Avengers films. Like, it was so satisfying. And, I mean, if you just watch it on streaming now, you kind of get it. It was something for you and I to enjoy together. We definitely got to experience that together. Yeah, that was amazing. It was such an amazing time for film, too, and, like, yeah. being oh, a fan of being a Being a geek, like, yeah. 2017, well, 20, basically 20, maybe 2016, 2015, yeah. to, like, 2019. I know. And then we get this place. We get Avengers Campus, which is like a, kind of a dream place too for fans. Right. <laughs> well, flight crew looks like we're about to take off. Ashley's getting the arc reactor going. Uh, we had a lot of fun hanging out. We had a lot of fun meeting Deadpool, meeting Wolverine, meeting all the characters today. That's it for the updates from Avengers Campus and us at Always Believe. See you next time, flight crew. Always believe. Like and subscribe! Woo! No, seriously. 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 Like and subscribe. <laughs>